Check out our website, Thriving Plant Based, for full length yoga classes, our daily food journals, group coaching, question and answer forum, private videos, and a whole lot more. I started doing yoga about a year ago and get on my mat almost every single day. Yoga has become my passion. I really want to do a teacher training, but I'm a little insecure about not having enough experience. I can't do asanas like full Hanumanasana, some arm balances, handstand, and my hips aren't very open. What do you think? What are the requirements to do a teacher training and when is the time right? Hey guys, so I've been getting a lot of questions like that lately, which is awesome because that means that people are getting super inspired by yoga and they're finding their passion in yoga and they want to share it with everyone and that's exactly how I feel. So I can relate and I think it's really great and really exciting. But I know a lot of people are hesitant because they're not so sure what to expect when they get into a yoga teacher training and they really, really love yoga, but you know, they're not like the Jedi fucking knight of handstands and they can't do the full splits and they're feeling kind of intimidated and unsure if they're ready. So how do you know if you're ready to take a teacher training? Well, the simple answer is if you want to teach yoga and you want to share yoga, then you should go take a teacher training. It is absolutely worth it. They're a little bit pricey, but it's definitely worth it. It'll change your life. It'll deepen your practice. It's gonna open you up to a whole new life and tons of possibilities, and it's gonna be a great experience. So when I did my first teacher training, it was, gosh, it was over 11 years ago, and At that time, I mean, you know, as you guys know, I didn't really start working on my handstands and like advanced backbends or anything like that until pretty recently in my practice, maybe just a couple of years ago. So at the time that I did my yoga teacher training, I mean, I pretty much knew the basics of the poses and stuff. I had been doing yoga for maybe uh, about a year or two years, maybe something around there. And so I went into my teacher training with that sort of background. I found that most of the people that did the teacher training with me were around the same place in their practice or less so. So there was a lot of people that, you know, didn't have advanced postures down. I think in our in our teacher training group, no one could do a handstand, no one could do a forearm stand reliably. So it was just a lot of young people and not so young people. I remember we had, um, a mom of three children coming to do the teacher training with us. It was really great. We had a wide range of people and um, it wasn't intimidating at all. It was a really loving and welcoming environment and it they make you feel comfortable right away. So you don't need to worry about those things. You don't have to have a perfect practice. You don't have to know how to do everything and you don't need to worry because in general, It's a really nurturing environment. And if it's not, then you need to get the fuck out of there and get your money back because you're in the wrong teacher training program. I know a lot of people play with the idea of doing a yoga teacher training, but they're not too sure what they want to do with it. They're not sure if they want to actually teach or or what's going on. They don't know what the future holds. Um, Even if you're going into it with that attitude, I think it's still worthwhile. If you can afford to do it, it's really, really awesome. Different programs are run differently and I've been asked if you need to get your 500 hour certification or your 200 hour. Most people start out, sorry, it's really loud here. I'm having some construction done on my house. So most people start out and I started out with a 200 hour certification and that's pretty standard. And I really liked the program that I got into. It did it over the course of about three months. So we met for 10 hours on Saturday and 10 hours on Sunday uh, over the course of a few months and that's how we did our teacher training. Now, it depends on what you want to do or what kind of time constraints you have or how much freedom you have in your life. There are more intensive programs, like I've done teacher training since with Shiva Ray where it's a 10 day intensive and it's very intense. You're literally there basically on and off for about 12 hours a day for 10 days straight. And that's a really cool way to do it. You're completely like immersed in the material and it's a very intense experience um, physically and emotionally. (laughs) It's very intense and I really liked that as well. But for me, that was really hard to do. I did that when I had young children and it was just it was really hard to be away from my kids and to get you know appropriate childcare and that's I would never choose to do that again but if I were a young person and I didn't have to you know I could get off of my job for 10 days that might be the way to go because it is quicker 
Um, I really encourage you to explore your options for your first teacher training because the first one I did really went into detail about, it was very basic. It went into detail about, you know, learning the Sanskrit terminology. It went into detail as far as anatomy. And it really, we had one of our teachers that really did help us learn how to actually teach and speak in a classroom. We were up speaking and teaching from the very first day that we started our teacher training. And that was very helpful and very useful to just have that sort of practice. Um, the second, the next teacher training I did after that was with Shiva Ray, and it was basically a different 200 hour course. And it was, um, I did the first hundred hours and that was actually a basic course too. And there was a lot of people in that teacher training. It was very large. There was about 80 students there. So a great, the greater majority of those students had never done a teacher training before. There were some of us in there that were already teachers and we had some experience and I felt that that was very useful. Um, if I had gone into that teacher training first and hadn't had the previous one, I think I would have felt pretty lost. So you want to make sure that you research exactly what it is that the teacher training goes over um, or if it is a more advanced training. Um, and then after you get your basic 200 hours, that's really, I mean, that's really all you need to do. It's kind of a fun thing to put on your resume if you're trying to get a job, if you have like 500 hour teacher training. I don't have a 500 hour certification. Um, since my original 200 hours certification, I've probably done another 200 or so hours in various teacher trainings. I've done one, um, to work with at-risk populations. I've done like a prenatal training. I've done the one with Shiva. Um, and, and it's, but you, you have to, you have to have like an actual program that kind of ties it all together. So you can't really jump around like that and it just mash together 500 hours. It doesn't really work like that. So you have to be like in an actual program where like they're gonna certify you like for those specific hours. Um, and also I would look for a program if you are planning to teach, I would look for a program that's gonna give you experience or your foot in the door with teaching. And what I mean by this is during my teacher training, we spent a lot of hours um, assisting in classes. So we would go to a class that our instructor was teaching and we would be in the classroom giving hands-on adjustments just so you get comfortable touching people and you get used to giving hands-on adjustments and stuff like that. And I found that very, very useful. And so for like part of our final test for the thing was that we actually had to teach like a public class. And that was really great. It was really scary, but it's really great. You really want to be able to do that in a supportive environment so that when you do go out into the world and try to get a job teaching, it's not your first time stepping into a classroom. You've actually done it before. You actually know what it feels like. You know what your challenges are going to be, and you've really got that first time under your belt. So that's a really great thing too. So yeah, basically, if you want to teach yoga or if you feel inspired to take a teacher training, I would say go for it. Absolutely do do it. It's not going to be something that you regret doing. It's going to be something that's just going to change your life in so many ways. I had no idea what I was getting myself into when I took that first teacher training, but it was definitely life changing in such a great way. And I can't recommend it enough. I think everybody should go out and do a yoga teacher training. You're going to love it. Don't be intimidated. It's just not that kind of vibe at all. It's pure love, pure friendliness, and everybody's there to support you. So if you have any other questions, leave them in the comments and I will answer them. Mwah.